Immediately across the street east of the church office building stands Brigham Young Historic Park. It honors President Brigham Young as a pioneer, as a colonizer, as a governor of the territory of Utah. He had a farm which extended behind the Beehive House, the Lion House, the Eagle Gate, north about three blocks. Brigham Young was best known as simply Brother Brigham. A beloved leader and wise counselor, he served as president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints from 1847 to 1877. This historic park is a representation of the lives and industry of Brigham Young and the early pioneers. Statues in the park depict pioneering efforts. The water wheel, powered by City Creek, a portion of the old wall of Brigham Young's farm that stands in place, and the gardens are all reminiscent of the farm once found here. The Young's family estate, which included this site, extended north of Eagle Gate nearly three blocks. It included the eastern half of the block where the lion and beehive houses are located, and continued east up the hill for approximately two blocks. The property was large enough to accommodate carpenter, shoe, and blacksmith shops. A pigeon house, a flour mill, barn, sheds, and corrals graced the area also. What they called the upper garden had vegetables and fruit and an orchard of apple, peach, pear, and walnut trees, as well as beehives. On the 2nd of October, 1995, LDS Church President Gordon B. Hinckley jointly dedicated City Creek Park across the street to the north and Brigham Young Historic Park as places that would afford refuge from the rush and hurry of the city and provide a place where the weary may sit and rest with the soft music of moving water and provide an oasis for contemplation and reflection. Besides the pleasant surroundings, a variety of concerts are held in the evenings during the summer months, making this park one of the truly unique oases in Salt Lake City. The water wheel here in Brigham Young Historic Park reminds us of the lifeblood nature of City Creek for gardens and farms here in the Salt Lake area. This rock wall on the east side of Brigham Young Historic Park is built from remnants of the original wall that Brigham Young had built around his farms. Brigham Young would often have piles of rock that he would have moved by early needy pioneers, perhaps those who arrived new in the valley, had no work. He would have them move rock piles from one area to another. Oftentimes, a week or two later, he would have another set of pioneers who came in and had needs move the pile back to its original spot. The ingenuity of Brigham Young, of course, was in paying them not enough to keep them working for him, but enough to have them motivated to work for others. The use of rocks, rock walls was an ingenious way that Brigham Young used his pioneering smarts to help the Latter-day Saints who arrived in the Salt Lake Valley. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.